Hello, I am Patrick J. Michaels, a senior fellow in Energy and Environment at the Competitive Enterprise Institute, as well as being a fellow of the CO2 Coalition. I will discuss the proposed regulations effect on global surface temperature compared to existing standards and what benefits can be expected to accrue from the proposed changes. In a word, the answer to both is simple, none. It is a standard procedure for the EPA to assess temperature consequences of proposed or existing policies using the model for the assessment of greenhouse gas-induced climate change, which was developed at the National Center for Atmospheric Research, and indeed it is commonly acronymed MAGIC, as in Model for the Assessment of Greenhouse Gas-Induced Climate Change. That aside, one can use MAGIC to determine the effect of continuation of current vehicle standards versus what is now proposed which bears some resemblance to proposals from the Obama administration EPA. Using standard magic assumptions, which include an equilibrium climate sensitivity of 3.0 degrees C, magic calculates the net savings of global warming to be three thousandths of a degree C by the year 2100. Assuming a standard atmosphere, this is roughly the average temperature difference in the air surrounding your head to the air surrounding your waist. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the inherent error in current calculations of global surface air temperature is eight hundredths of a degree, which is nearly 27 times the calculated effect of the new standards. Yet the administration goes on to calculate something called the social cost of this regulation, coming up with a net benefit of nearly $100 billion by 2050. Given that the magic calculated temperature change is to the year 2100, the 2050 temperature to savings has to be less than half this value, which would round to one thousandth or two thousandths of a degree. It simply defies logic to calculate the benefits of a regulation which will have an impossible to detect effect on surface temperature, because it is those same temperatures that drive cost estimates. In summary, the proposed vehicle standards have an undetectable effect on surface temperature, which means an undetectable climate benefit. This is despite enormous costs that will be foisted upon the unwilling consumers of vehicles that they would choose not to purchase today and will only purchase tomorrow if they are forced to by this feckless regulation.